up, YouTube? I am your host, Mediocre with the reviews and reviews. Back in here with yet one more video. All right, guys, listen, you look at the thumbnail, you know, you see the title of the video. I'm sure you probably already saw this video. The reason I want to do this video right now, you know, if you're watching this video into the future, last week, George Floyd, okay, we all know his name by now, was killed in cold blood, okay? Now, this is a week later. The country is still trying to heal. Looting is going on. The topic of police brutality is brought up in a way that hasn't been brought up in a very, very long time. I came across this video on my Instagram. Shout out to my Instagram, at Mediocre Tutorials and Reviews. People follow me up there to send me and suggest content, okay? Now, when this video starts right here, it's going to be midway into a conversation of a cop having it with an FBI agent. And what's happening here is what so many people that look like me have to think about and have to go through, okay? And I wanted to bring this up because there's a bit of justice within this as well. And I think you guys are going to love and appreciate the ending or the conclusion of what's going to go on right here, okay? Let's go through this one without further ado. Oh, you're assuming I'm someone that I'm not. Are you Jake? No, I'm not Jake. I, you look like Jake. There you go. I look like Jake. Yeah, but you're, you're Jake. No. Yes, you are. No, I'm obviously Jake. You're Jake. Okay, you're Get out of my face, man. You guys are harassing me. Yes, you guys are. Hey, that's you're fucking that's harassing that's me. That's yes, that's you that's are. That's no, that's no, that's no, that's no, that's no. He's harassing that's me. That's Why are you harassing that's me? That's you're assuming that's I'm someone I'm not. Okay, if you're not, then... No, 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 no. You're not free to go, okay? Us. Am I being detained? Yeah, you are. For what? I think you have one. You think? Yeah. That's an illusion. That's, that's okay. an illusion. You right. think? Right. Stand up your hands. I'm not here. For what? Let me pause it right here uh, before he decides to put his hands on a man. And for folks that are unaware with what's going on, because you're not up to these things that can happen, the cop walked up to the brother and said, I think that there was a warrant out for you. Now, listen. The idea that you can just take a person out of their reality and make them a part of who you think is a criminal based off of what they look like without information, without knowledge, without the cop representing a picture of what the person that he thinks has a warrant is, to me, is completely insane. It's asinine that you could just stop people to do this in home of the brave, land of the free. Okay, let's go back in there though, because I want you guys to be able to see what's about to happen. I don't have a warrant. Yeah, you're wrong. wrong. Okay, you're wrong. Okay, wrong. No, you are wrong. What do you mean if you're wrong? You're wrong. You're wrong. We're not gonna play this game. Hold up. Hold up. No, no, no. Hold on. You guys are not gonna try to admit to me. I'm not under arrest. I didn't do nothing. For what? For what? For what? Did you tell me for what? For what? I'm, I'm under arrest for what? No, no, no. If you got the wrong guy, I'm shooting all of you guys. Let me get your card. Can I get your card? Can I get your card? Yep. Okay. I'm not standing up. Listen, I'm not under arrest. I don't have a warrant. I don't have any officers. officers. Don't hey, yo. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Come on. Hey, hey, officer. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Hey. Go ahead, go ahead. Matter of fact, matter of fact, look at my ID. You got the wrong guy, I'm telling you. Wrong ID, motherfucker. You guys got the wrong guy. You guys are fucking stupid. That's not you. You guys are racial profile thinking I'm somebody. I got, I take one of you, motherfuckers. Take them, take them cuffs off. Sir, I got them. Take them cuffs off. I take both of you, motherfuckers, right now. This guy got the cleanest record, y'all. Just I take both of you, motherfuckers, right now. Take the cuffs off. Take the cuffs off. Oh, me, y'all got, guys are got the wrong stupid, man. You guys are the dumbest motherfucker. Well, they want to get tough. Life. Grab his fucking wall. You are stupid. I don't know how you hey, feel. Yo, y'all got the wrong dude. Matter of fact, anybody can become a cop nowadays. Yeah, so you guys really had no other choices to do? You guys now, let me just highlight how quickly that escalated. How quickly that escalated from a conversation to pulling the man up into the air and putting his hands behind his back and being detained, putting him in a helpless state so that they can forcibly go into his pocket and take out his ID. It went from a conversation of, no, you have the wrong guy, you're looking at the wrong person, to forcefully ripping him from his seat with his friends standing there so that they can watch him be humiliated in order to grab identification. But let's keep watching. 
You really had nothing else to go to college for but be a cop and harass me? To assume I'm somebody I'm not? My ID's in my back pocket. Y'all got the watch, hey, watch, funny how, watch how funny this is. Go ahead, look at it. No, don't hate me. Look at it. Oh, what does that say? What does that say? Oh! Wrong guy! Oh. Wrong guy! Oh my god! No, get the fuck off me, dude! Get off me, dude! Bro, you fucked up! I need your cards, I need your supervisor over here. Call your supervisor. Call your supervisor. Call your supervisor over here. You guys are the stupidest motherfuckers I ever met in my life. How'd you guys. You got, what the fuck is wrong with you guys? Look at him. Look at him. Get 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 him. If you didn't hear him, he said you look like him. Listen, at this point, you should be apologizing emphatically, okay? Emphatically. How do you expect to restore confidence within it with A, you walk up to somebody who's minding his own business, B, accuse him of looking like someone who has an, a warrant, but C, rip him up out of his seat, and at the point that you see that this person is actually higher ranking than you, Okay, higher ranking than you, you are not then apologizing emphatically instead of, oh, you, well, you look like him. Think about what that would feel like if that was you hanging with your friends, minding your own business. Shit like this is the reason why when I walk up to a 7-Eleven and if I see a cop that's currently parked outside of the 7-Eleven, I wait till they come back in and they leave the 7-Eleven, okay? Because I know that there was always a higher risk for me walking in that 7-Eleven and something happening to me because of the color of my skin. I've known about this throughout my whole life and thank God for my father, okay, my uncle, to sit me down and to communicate to me that how much I am at a greater risk of something like this happening to me throughout my life because of who I identify as. And the thing is, is, although you see a degree of justice within this example right here, there's so many times where justice is never seen or heard, or there's so many times where situations like this are never recorded, okay? So then you just hear about it, it becomes hearsay, it becomes an anecdotal experience. But now we're blessed with the degree of technology today where we can capture these very unique instances in the land of the free. And fact is, I've had situations like this happen to me throughout my life. I've had situations where, listen, in 99% of the time, 99% of the cops that I come across have treated me fairly or completely ignored me. More often than not, they completely ignore me. But I stay keen on making sure that I reduce the risk that I even cross paths with a cop. But there are times that I can name that I was adversely treated because of who I am and I can point a finger directly at those unique occasions of sowing one into flex with absolute power. <laughs> These guys are racist for me. They assume I'm someone that I'm not. I told them I'm not who they think I am. And they, still and they said, no, nope, you are. I, I'm positive you are. So I need their cards. I need your card. I need your card. I need, I need, I need, I need, I need Listen, the callous attitude, okay, the lackadaisical action, okay, the once he figured out who you were, then now you're good. No, it doesn't work like that. The trauma is there. The trauma is experienced, okay? And that's passed down from generation to generation. And then that's how you get the reactions and the actions that you see in the streets today. This is how it sparks. This is how it occurs. And it has happened to a lot of us. It's happened to a lot of us. Change needs to occur. Listen, and let me also address this point too. Um, 
I know statistically speaking, I am more likely to be killed by someone who looks just like me, okay? By me addressing this, I'm not saying that the black on black crime does not need to be addressed, okay? That's not what I'm saying. We need to point a finger at the bullshit that happens inside the community just as much as the shit that happens from perpetrators outside of the community. But let me tell you guys something why I think in my mind it is exponentially worse when it's outside the community. These are people in positions of power. These are people that are given the express written consent and declaration to protect and to serve. Listen, members of the black community, <laughs> we know there's shit in our own community and we know things that we have to do in order to reduce the risk to be involved with the shit in our community. But even when you go outside of our community and you are interacting with those that are have the express written consent to protect your community and they are perpetrators of atrocity, that makes it way worse, way worse. So listen, I'm tired of talking about, you know, race or is it a race thing or is it just a policing thing, police brutality? I'm tired of talking about that. It's obvious that there's problems and it's obvious that there's things that we have to do in order to overcome, you understand me? Now listen, me getting to this next part of the video, I just wanna go over just my high level idea and thinking on the solutions, cause this is a solution focused channel as you guys know, and I wanna attack it that way. You understand what I'm saying? Number one, in the case of George Floyd, that perpetrator whose name shall not be named, it's gonna remain anonymous on this channel cause he's not worthy of the name that his mother gave him. If you pay attention to the story, you will see that he had 18 complaints against him documented. If you have that many complaints documented against you, and if the amount of complaints documented against you is an outlier, right? <laughs> Let's say most cops on average get four complaints, okay, throughout their tenure. If you have 18, that sounds outside of a normal amount of complaints. There should be a way to identify and then go through a standardized review and check within to the history of what these complaints are and the validity of them, okay? And, and if it is determined that the person is using excessive force an increasing amount of times, then action must be taken. I mean, think about it like this. What doctor would you go to that has 18 complaints of malpractice against them? If you were going skydiving and the facility that you went to had 18 complaints of parachutes not opening, you wouldn't go skydiving there. You understand what I'm saying? So there has to be a way to review those that are outside the normal range of complaints. Number two, I think one of the major problems of the policing system or the policing brotherhood is that it will innately incentivize those that participate in it to not tell on each other. I think that shit has to be broken up, okay? Here's my logic for that. Within communities, you have 1-800 numbers that you can call to tell the police your knowledge about a criminal activity and you get some type of bounty or reward for being able to do that. I think that this exact same system should be stood up within the police department as well. Call it something like, you know, bad apple watchers or something like that in order to identify the bad actors within it and then give those that do the telling a form of financial incentive or bonus, just like you do for the community. Now, a lot of you guys are like, oh, we'll give them more money in order to identify that. Well, listen, you have to incentivize human beings. That's how we work. Everyone is incentivized by something. A lot of us are incentivized by money. I think at the end of the day, you have to incentivize whistleblowing. You have to incentivize those intra to the unity to out those that are not pushing a high integrity level of standards forth. Third, now listen, I look at a lot of different internet videos actually of police activity, okay? A lot of them. And listen, from a policing standpoint, I get to a degree why aggression has to be used in the way that they do a lot of the times, I've seen a lot of videos where literally it's gone from normal conversation and talking to from a perpetrator and I and I do understand that however 
What I have seen a lot in these videos is officers that don't know basic hand-to-hand -hand combat. They don't know basic hand-to-hand -hand combat. They don't know basic jujitsu ground techniques. They don't know how to fight. So often what I see is someone that's quick to go to their hip to pull out a gun because they don't know how to handle themselves from a hand-to-hand -hand perspective. I think that all police officers should be required to take some form of martial arts and aspire to get at least some minimum requirement of ranking or degree or belt level and has to keep up with it in order to maintain. That way, they're more steady and can handle their hands in an altercation and then also, they're not getting out of shape, which when you're out of shape, you are more likely to take your gun off the hip and say, I ain't gonna run up to that person. And then lastly, you'll then know the extent of putting your knee on somebody's neck for nine minutes. Now lastly, here's my last point, but trust, know, believe, and understand that as I'm saying this, I'm still going over additional points in my mind as well, okay? Here's my last point. In the case of wrongful deaths, perpetrated by police officers, the suit that determines the wrongful death, okay, the civil suit, that money should be extracted from the pool of police pension. Meaning, if you allow this cop who has had all of these complaints, okay, and has now caused a wrongful death, all of you suffer. I'll never forget as a kid, some of the uh, most, <laughs> let's say groundbreaking as a child, lessons that I learned are lessons that the punishment not only involved me, but involved my friends and around me as well. It's like, if I did something wrong, we all suffered, okay? Because the friends might have been complacent in that happening. You understand what I'm saying? So I think you have to make everybody responsible for it. You have to. Okay, that's how you'll get true high integrity brotherhood. Listen, at the end of the day, a CEO of a company, he could not even had a decision in something that messed up, but because he was the head of the company or she was the head of the company and it happened underneath their watch, he's going and his whole cabinet's going. You understand what I'm saying? You have to hold people accountable. It is ridiculous to me that we have <laughs> something that has absolute authority that has no checks and balances. There's, there's no accountability. It's ridiculous to me that it's gone on for this long. And because that it has, it is resulting into what we have saw throughout this past week. And then also what we just watched in this video. Listen, I just wanted to drop a couple of my quick thoughts. I come to you guys intermittently because this is not the typical type of content that is on this channel, but I have to be able to hit you guys from my perspective as well. You understand what I'm saying? Get at me, mediocre tutorials and reviews at gmail.com. This one is always a rough topic to do, all right? But it must be done. Until next time, YouTube. Peace!